channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here welcome to the channel thank you so much for joining the family and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back just as a refresher because i know i have not been consistent basically i make videos about anything law related and in between you'll find pockets of my personal life which i enjoy and i like to share at times but mainly you'll find law related content so I'm excited for this video because I've been, I've been, I've been wanting to get this video out there a day in my life, pretty much as a candidate attorney. And I think that if you're a law student, you probably want to know what happens after you get your degree. That is if specifically you want to become an attorney. So I'm going to take you guys with me today and just kind of show you guys what I get to do or what I get up to in a day so that you guys have a good idea, hopefully, of what I guess to expect as a candidate attorney. So if you're interested, um, even if you're not a law student, but if you're interested to know what a candidate attorney gets up to, then definitely keep watching. I woke up at 6 a.m. and yeah, I, <laughs> I am gonna be running late if there is traffic. So let's just hope and pray that I don't have traffic or there's no traffic. I just need to go and get ready now and I will chat to you guys once I've finished getting ready because I'm running late. You guys are probably in a weird angle, um, but I've switched over to my camera. So I'm basically very late. It's currently 14 minutes past seven. Anyway, I'm done getting ready. I am in my car, you guys. That's a, another, okay, not another thing, but that's something that is a new development. I started my new job four months ago and oh my gosh i was able to get a car you know and it's definitely making my life easier except you know petrol is <laughs> so expensive right now so so i'm supposed to be at at work at eight o'clock i want to say yeah eight o'clock and i'm rushing i want to say i particularly did not want to leave or i wanted to, i wanted to be super early today and that is because i have this letter that I need to submit actually this morning and I'm nervous about it because I feel like it's not coming together and yeah I am working for a corporate commercial law firm I'm, I'm working for a corporate commercial law firm right now but four months ago I was working for a what's this uh in, in a, the road accident fund department which is completely different um with consistent of a lot of pagination it was a lot of litigation not much drafting so i'm glad that i'm getting i'm tapping into that i'm able to do that now and i'm able to challenge myself as well because if you don't know i did i completed my llb in 2018 and then i went on to do my masters in 2019 from 2019 until 2020 so yeah and honestly i've gotten this question of you know is it is it worth it to get a master's because i mean again guys like it's not cheap or it's not for free to do your master's but i'd say it's worth it so if you can do it definitely do it because it really does improve your writing so yeah it's so weird you guys the camera is set up in such a weird spot that i'm also just uncomfortable with but yeah, let's let's get going. I'll chat to you guys when I get to work. Guys, so I am currently at work. I just got to work. Thank goodness there was no traffic. And it's because the robots are working like they're supposed to. But because we are in South A. It's now I'm about to get into the office and I will catch you guys there.
first thing I like to do when I get to work is basically get my coffee, either coffee or tea, depending on how I feel or yeah, so if I'm feeling very tired, I'll usually have coffee. And I think today is gonna be one of those coffee days. But thank God it's Friday though, you know what I mean? So yeah, then from there, I get my to-do list, okay? So I have a to-do list and I write down the list of things that I need to get done. Then I also kind of use a red pen maybe to just kind of show priority and whatnot. Like, so I prioritize the task. So sometimes I may have things to do and I'll write them in, in my to-do list so that I don't forget them. And then from there I will yeah, just prioritize for, for, so for example, if something needs to get out right now or today or ASAP, then I'll prioritize that. So I've got two letters that I need to do. The one is a, uh, a letter of demand that I, 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 showed, I, I told you guys about. I have to do that as on top of my priority list. And then I have a meeting later with my boss. There's a new matter, I guess, or new instruction from a client. And so he kind of wants to give me a background on the matter, basically. It's been quite an adjustment for me because you would have told me when I was still in varsity that I was going to end up in a corporate commercial law firm. I was going to laugh in your face because I wanted to do criminal law, you know. And I mean, right now, I, I love where I'm at. After a long day, I checked off all of the things that I needed to do in terms of my priority list and I finally get to go home. Honestly, I could have finished this task at home, but I stayed because I'm trying to avoid traffic, okay? Because, yeah, if I had left at like five or half four, then I definitely would have been stuck in traffic for two hours, which is what happened to me on Thursday. Thursday, no, 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 this was yesterday, on Wednesday, literally almost two hours in traffic, that's petrol, number one, number two, that's time, I'm already exhausted, and then I have to come to work the next day, like, no, I think this has pretty much been a day in my life, I want to say, oh yeah, I actually didn't update you guys, the letter that I was worried about, I did end up sending it, I sent it to my, um, my colleague who's going to basically review it and then she's going to bring it back to me i guess maybe she might uh for comments and whatnot which is something that i really i value and i i like about where i work now is that there's somebody who actually or like the people who review my work and who will give me feedback so i feel like that really helps in in terms of you know improving my writing and also just me having confidence and when i think like from now my drafting i want to say now i'm not there there but like from when i first started and now it's improved a lot and it's because of the feedback that i get and everything so yeah i was able to do all of that today i'm really happy for a friday honestly i think um i was quite productive and it's funny because <laughs> i want to say fridays and mondays are my most productive uh, days at times and that's essentially because if there's work there's work guys but I just hope that this video has been informative for you and I'm going to be doing a video on just being a candidate attorney you know a sit down video this time where I kind of tell you guys what you guys can expect because honestly in as much as this is a day in my life days are not the same I have to get up to on a day to day it may differ in depending on where you do your articles or the type of law firm that you do your articles at. So definitely look out for that video. It will be coming very soon. I will be editing this vlog. It has to be up before that video. So make sure that you check it out as soon as it's out. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in